Hi everyone, welcome back to Nat's Revive and Ride. I'm Natalia. <laughs> I'm Natalie. And this is day three of working on this car to try and get it to start. So yesterday we took off the um what was that the radiator fan and the valve cover and everything that went with it to take it off. And then today we're gonna be taking off the air intake manifold and the fuel rail. That's what we'll be doing today. The oil dipstick. No, not that close. The oil dipstick. <laughs> Good. That's what you're gonna say. Okay, so you have to take the oil dipstick out because this thing will get in the way of other stuff that you have to disconnect. Don't look so happy. I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to Natural Ride. I'm Natalie. I'm Natalia. And this is part 75 of taking out <laughs> the intake manifold. <laughs> Go ahead, that that yeah. Oh. Okay, well we already took off like all the screws and stuff. And so now you're just gonna hold on. Okay. Is it now stuck back there? <laughs> Use that muscle, that's why we go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> There's something stuck back there. Yeah, hold on. There's a cable here. Oh. Are you pushing it back in? I'm trying to do it down this way so you can lift. No, there's something else holding it. We thought it was. We thought it was going to come out, but. Alright, so we didn't realize, but there was a little hook somewhere oh down. You God, can't this see is it. It's so heavy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's still not coming up all the way. Oh, it's. It's no. Just, it's a hose back here. Oh, there is. <laughs> there is one. I told you. <laughs> oh, this is the one I was trying to remove earlier from here. There we oh, go. That's it. That's it. Good lord. All right. All right. You should be able to use them legs. Okay. <laughs> How am I? <laughs> Anyways, there was a hose down there. I knew it was attached. Okay, so here, here it is. Here it is. Is it still attached to something? Can I just pull it out? Like, no. no? Okay, well anyways, this is out now. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't scratch the paint. <laughs> oh, come, come over here. So as you can see, like that little tube right there, it's like cut. Um, yeah, we need to put a new one of those in there too. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see yeah, that. Yeah, it's cut. We had to do that because we, <laughs> we couldn't get around it. <laughs> So we had to cut it in order to like flip this part on this side up so we can reach some other cables and screws and stuff like that. So yeah, here is this. I already forgot what this is called. Intake manifold. <laughs> Alright, we're just taking off this, uh, what's it called? It's like a pump. This pump so that we can have more space to take off the exhaust manifold. And it has three 10 millimeter screws in it, right? Yes. One, two, three. It's got a plug in the bottom. What are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? I just work here. I just work here. <laughs> We're taking out the bracket. Sir, for what? And whenever you take off the intake man the exhaust manifold, we need room because if you show them down there, it is really close. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so apparently this is like strictly BMW, like when it comes to these little hoses and stuff right there, they have, they have this little clip, and so you're just gonna like unclip them like that, and then you just pull them out. 
and then that's it. That was original drummers up there. I would probably go through the body first. Where the sensor is. You can't mm -hmm. tell, but we got it up. Yeah, it's it's up now. And then so now we're just gonna pull this out. Actually, hold on. Okay. Just so it'll be easier for you to pull that bottom one. Ah! This is straight up water. I feel like we should have given the car some privacy. <laughs> Oh, it's done? No. no. He's got to move this over here. So take the other one over. Okay, so what we are doing in this, um, in these following clips, we are taking out that little pipe earlier that we were taking the clips out for. Um, this pipe was really hard to take out because it was pretty in crooked. So in one of these little clips, you guys are going to see um, one of the clips actually fall out into the drain pan and my dad takes it out. Um, that made it a lot easier to take out the pipe just because it was put in crooked. But anyways, um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for um, tracking the progress. If you guys have any tips, tricks, um, any advice or anything for working on these cars, please let us know in the comments. We will be happy to take it into consideration. And um, stay tuned for the following videos where we will be taking apart more of the engine and then eventually putting it all back together. Whoa, it's <laughs> 